Hello everyone. This is CCNA version 6, bridging course. And today I will show you how to use trace router to test the connectivity. This is our topology. And we'll test the connectivity between PC1 and PC3. Now, we'll try to ping from PC1 to PC3. As you see, the result is destination host unreachable, and reply from this IP address. OK, we'll use tracert command to see what IP addresses that the package reached. The first IP address is the default gateway of this PC. It is the interface G00 of router A. and the last IP address show you where the package is stopped. It is the interface S001 of router C. And you can see, the IP address of interface S000 is 10.100.100.17. But this interface is assigned to network 10.100.100.8-30. So, we have to reconfigure this, change 17 to 9, and PC1 can connect to PC3. Now we'll use the trace root command on router A. You can see the difference between the IP address listed on router A and PC1.
because we use the trace root command on router A, so the packet didn't have to go to interface G00, and this IP address isn't listed. Now, we'll try the extended trace route. The value displayed in brackets is the default value and will be used by trace route if no value is entered. Simply press enter to use the default value. There are 5 ICMP packets were sent by router A. Probe count specifies the number of ICMP packets sent to each hop by trace route. A higher number of probes allows for a more accurate average round trip time for the packets. By default, Probe count is 3. Now I'll change the timeout value to 7. When the connectivity is successful, it's hard to see what is different. I'll shut down the interface of router C and show you what happened when we change the timeout value. You can see, when the connectivity is unsuccessful, the trace route wait for 3 seconds before send the next package. And we change the timeout value to 7, the trace route wait for 7 seconds. So, in a period of time equal the timeout value, if the package is unsuccessful transmitted, it is connection timeout, and the trace route try to send other package. When the number of package was sent is equals to the probe count, if it's still unsuccessful, it'll return destination host unreachable. Okay. That's all of this activity. Thank you for watching.